now today we are going to discuss about ccsp and i'm going to take you through the uh, required ccsp domains in a uh, express uh, manner so that you guys are uh, prepared uh, for starting your study or a refresher for appearing for exam uh, it depends upon case to case basis okay so all of you might have already gone through infosec okay as an organization infosec is established in 2016 and it's one of the finest uh, security training organization and i can vouch on it because i am also a product of this organization for my uh, couple of certifications so if you are looking for adding your uh, certification or adding a credibility to your cv it's a right place to come so it is having 4 plus years of service a pool of 70 plus trainers and it keeps get, uh, add, getting added to the pool and one of the best thing of infosec is that it believes in uh, giving back to the community so if you are getting trained you are getting certified and you want to do something for a security community infosec helps you to build your own platform and start the deliveries there are so many uh, places on which infosec is having its uh, presence you can also have a look at it on uh, the website of infosec so why infosec one of the major reason is that you are in safe hands by uh, getting trained through a certified and experienced instructors you have uh, the flexible mode of training it's uh, the uh, weekdays training weekends training uh, the classroom trainings it depends upon how you want to take it and how you want to get trained how fast you want to get trained so i believe that we must be having the mixed forum that few of you are aspirants few of you are evaluating yourself that okay should i do ccsp should i not do ccsp is it right certification for me to do and so on so what i'll do is first i'll brief all of you in short that what is ccsp all about how it will help in your career growth how you can prepare for your exam and then we dive deep into the uh, domains to take uh, take it forward okay so today what we are going to do is we are going to have a introduction how the ccsp exam is normally taken how it works okay a brief about uh, exam then what is the management perspective because if you want to give ccsp you cannot give it as a a network uh, administrator or a network manager you have to give it uh, from a management perspective you cannot give this exam as uh, the end user am i clear okay then what should be your strategy for the exam okay so before we get into the domain wise detail let me tell you that on ccsp it's about certified cloud security professional so what's a cloud in in today's world cloud is a buzz word so what's a cloud cloud is something what everybody uses and if you want to start it costs nothing to you it's like you know you go you go on say amazon or azure's website you create your own account and you get going if you are into free tier you are paying nothing it's a free service on a certain freebies and uh, you get your experience get going and then you slowly upgrade to the paid grade okay and cloud is always going to be there and as a built up structure it is safe okay now when i say it is safe it is safe from a basic perspective it still has a security component which needs to get added on cloud okay now on a ccsp this certification is cloud neutral 
it's not aiming to give you a certification on say microsoft azure or uh, aws or google cloud no this certification is cloud neutral and that is where it gives you an overall idea about how the cloud terminologies are uh, meant how the cloud as a function works what are the different components uh, which you need to know from a cloud security standpoint okay and this is a certification for the professionals who are involved in day to day activities related to the cloud from any angle you might be doing it from an infra perspective you might be doing it from the network perspective you might be a devops guy you might be the developer whatever okay and it is more focused on cloud operations okay and it is global certification uh, which is endorsed by iis square so many of you might be already um, aware and you might have done any other certification like ciisp or maybe ccsk so this is uh, another one notch different certification to be done so in ccsp uh, basically it covers six domains okay and it has got a different weightage from the questions or say the marks perspective so domain 1 is cloud concepts architecture and design which carries the weightage of 17% cloud data security uh, one of the very important domain which has got the highest weightage of 19% cloud platform and infrastructure security which has got a weightage of 17 cloud application security 17 cloud security operation 17 and legal risk and compliance now this last domain is specifically uh, you will be tested on a generic thing but when you get into a uh, practice you need to know the legal and compliance perspective from the country where you are actually working so you do this certification in uh, you are working from india then you are expected to know the compliance risk and the governance criteria which is meant for india if you are based out of middle east you need to know uh, the criteria for middle east if you are from uh, european union you need to know the criteria for european union and so on okay so it's it's a bit uh, lightweight but a tricky domain to cover okay now experience for this exam is that any candidate who want to get certified as a professional need to have at least 5 years of it experience and at least 3 years from any one of these domains uh, which are covered in uh, the ccsp okay and if you do not have that experience you get registered as uh, associate and then once you complete the 5 years uh, you get upgraded as a ccsp now before that if you say you are less than 5 and you have already done ciisp or any other iis square certification then by default you get registered as a professional if you have already complied uh, complied one of the criteria okay now this exam as similar to ciisp uh, or any other exam it's of 3 hours as of now and uh, i think from august the criteria is going to change it's going to be a 4 hours exam as of today the number of questions which are asked are 125 and out of which around 25 are the research questions so you are actually marked on 100 questions and the passing grade is uh, 700 out of 1000 points the exam is available in english and you can go online and book your exam uh, through a pearson view uh, testing center anywhere where it is available in the world including india and any other countries okay and it's the adaptive exam so the questions keep changing based on the difficulty level or the way you answer the questions the next question keep on changing there is no going back or there is nothing called marking the question for review so once you select your option and you click next boom that's all so you cannot you cannot review uh, your question 
that is most important thing which uh, everybody has to remember and comparatively as compared to other certifications of uh, isc square ccsp is having a bit of less document documents or books available and that's why it's it's a bit tricky exam to study but if you focus uh, i think three to four months preparation is quite enough to clear this exam so important books which you should refer is first before you start your exam it is recommended that you read the security guidance uh, from uh, csa the cloud security alliance which gives you a ccsk certification so this security guidance is like your starting step to get a uh, familiar with different concepts on cloud then you go through the ccsp exam outline which is available on the isc square website then there is a official study guide the third edition has just come out early this year or i think last year somewhere in september or october okay then there is ccsp all in one and ccsp for dummies especially for uh, domain 3 and 4 uh, i would strongly recommend that you refer ccs uh, ccsp all in one and ccsp for dummies because the concepts for domain 3 and domain 4 are well explained in this book then obviously uh, for any security thing it is recommended that you go through the uh, nist documentation for cloud computing as a reference and very important standard is uh, iso 17789 which gives you the you know the the security framework which is uh, required for the uh, cloud roles different criteria once you are ready and you want to test yourself these are important books to you know get yourself ready on uh, the practices it's official practice test book the, then ccsp practice exam and there is a fantastic book written by prashant mohan many of you might be aware he's he's a security enthusiast and he also takes uh, trainings on this and this book called cirus is like you know a, a last minute review manual it's a fantastic book and it's available free on google you just search by this name cirus by prashant mohan and it's available free it's it says uh, service to the community it's a, it's a very good book 